Thanks for sticking with us. You're listening to the Mutual Audio Drama Network. The following audio drama is rated G for general audiences. It's time once again for America's favorite show, The Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd. Brought to you by DrFloyd.com. This week starring Joel Hodgson as Blackbeard with cameos by Frank Conniff, John Kennedy, and Michael Rayner. We begin this episode in the year 1717 aboard a large wooden sailing ship in the middle of the Caribbean Sea. Assembled on the decks of the ship are a group of the most sinister, bloodthirsty, and treacherous pirates that have ever sailed the seven seas. The brooding buccaneers wait patiently for word from their captain. What do you think the captain's orders will be this morning? I'm not sure, but you can bet they'll be sinister, bloodthirsty, and treacherous, or my name isn't Keelhaul Kevin. Is it? Is what it? Is your name Keelhaul Kevin? You know that it is. We've been sailing together for years now. Just checking. We picked up so many new pirates in the last port, I keep forgetting who's who. New recruits like that skinny guy over by the rail? Yeah, the one with the C6 sock-shaped parrot. What do you think his story is? I don't know, but he does have an evil look about him. Educated experts of our show have no doubt realized that the skinny evil looking pirate by the rail of the ship is none other than that skinny evil mastermind Dr. Steve. And furthermore, the C6 sock shaped parrot on his shoulder is his C6 sock shaped assistant, Fidget. Hang in there, Fidget, it'll be okay. You want another one of these sea sickness patches? Okay, here, I'll put one on your, uh. Uh, oh my, you don't seem to have any bare skin left to put another one on. Oh well, you'll get your sea legs soon. <coughs> Why are we here? Fidget, this is the sailing ship, the Queen Anne's Revenge. Captained by none other than that legendary pirate, Blackbeard. One of the most sinister, bloodthirsty, and treacherous pirates that ever sailed the seven salty seas. <coughs> Oh, yes. Just imagine how much one of Blackbeard's swords will go for on eBay. No, oh, there, there, little sock. Now, look, you need to pull yourself together, Fidget. We need to figure out how we're going to plunder this pirate. As Dr. Steve helps Fidget with another Dramamine pill, let's jump to the time and spaceship of the world's most brilliant scientist, Dr. Floyd, who is currently racing through the time and space stream with his young protege, Dr. Grant, and their faithful robot companion, Chips. Chips, are we almost to 1717? Yes, Dr. Floyd, we're nearly there. Just a few more minutes. What do you think Dr. Steve could be up to, Dr. Floyd? I'm not 100% sure sure, but I think he's plotting to steal something from Blackbeard. Blackbeard the pirate? Pirate? Yes, Blackbeard was a pirate that... What the... He just ran away. I don't know, Dr. Floyd. Perhaps he... Dr. Grant, what kind of crazy getup do you have on? Avast ye, land lovers. No longer be I, Dr. Grant, says I. Ah, from this point hence, ye shall call me Captain Grant Sapsucker. Oh, no, Dr. Floyd. I told you we shouldn't have let him rent those Johnny Depp movies from Netflix. Oh, look at him. Enough squabbling, ye horn swoggling bilge rats. Reel in the anchor. Raise up the mizzenmast. Get the barnacles out of ye pantaloons, me matey. Time's a waste and to stop Dr. Steve. Oh, brother. As Dr. Floyd chips and Dr. Grant. Ah, watch yourself, matey. The name is Captain Grant Sapsucker. Properly warned ye be, says I. <clears throat> Uh, Sorry, as Dr. Floyd Chips and Captain Grant Sapsucker make their final landing in 1717, let's return to the bridge of the Queen Anne's Revenge where Dr. Stephen Fidget prepare to meet Blackbeard. All hands on deck! All hands on deck! Captain Blackbeard will now address the crew. Oh, this is it, Fidget. We're about to meet one of the most sinister, bloodthirsty, and treacherous men that ever lived. Yes, men used to quake with fear in his presence. Oh, yes, Fidget. In the world of evil, Blackbeard is a king. Just then, a man emerges from the captain's quarters. He wears a coat the color of blood. A belt around his waist holds two swords, and across his chest he wears two bandoliers stuffed with numerous knives and pistols. A silence falls over the crew as he stands there regarding them all, twirling the end of his long black beard in his hand. This is the most feared pirate who ever lived. This is Blackbeard. Good morning, everyone. To those we picked up in the last port, welcome aboard the Queen Anne's Revenge. My name's Blackbeard, and I'm going to be 
year captain and cruise director for the next seven exciting days and six fun-filled nights. Are you guys ready for a week of pirate fun? Yay! Yay! Good! Now, we've got a lot of activities going on today, and as soon as I'm done here, we'll have our lifeboat drill. And then there will be a make-your-own eye patch seminar at noon, followed by Three-Fingered Johnny's Keeping Your Cutlass Sharp demonstration at 1, and Stinky Frank's Proper Care and Feeding of Your Parrot Lecture at 2. Ooh, that one sounds good, Fidget. We should go to that. Later this afternoon, we'll have cannon skeet shooting off the stern of the Lido deck, which will wrap up in time for you to get dressed up for the big formal captain's dinner buffet at Six Sharp. You know, I've heard that the buffets on cruise ships are really fantastic. Later tonight, we'll have concertino karaoke followed by a comedy show in the Firebird Lounge. Remember, tomorrow is a port day with plenty of plundering and pillaging excursions to choose from. Now, enough of my yakking. Report to your muster stations for the lifeboat drill. Yay! Yay! Uh, excuse me, Captain Blackbeard? Yes! Say, I like your parrot. Oh, why, thank you. Uh, he's a soccer teal. Uh, say hello, Polly. <coughs> nice birdie. Oh, thank you. Anyway, uh, we're big fans of yours, and we were wondering if we could have the pleasure of joining you for the comedy show tonight. You flatter me, sir. I will reserve two seats at my table just for you and your bird. Oh, we look forward to it. As do I. See you then. Excellent, Fidget. We're going to the comedy show with Blackbeard, and when he isn't looking, we shall swipe one of those swords, return to the future, and sell it on eBay. <laughs> oh no, Dr. Steve is plotting to steal one of Blackbeard's swords. Will he be able to do so and return to the future undetected? Will Dr. Floyd be able to get to 1717 in time to stop him? And what song will Dr. Steve sing at Concertino Karaoke after dinner? Uh, yes. Uh, do you know Cool Change by Little River Band? Find out next time on the Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd. Okay, does anyone have any questions about the lifeboat drill? Yeah, uh, how do you activate the quick release to lower the lifeboats into the water? Just push the button. Episode number 602 of the Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd featured special guest appearances by Joel Hodgson as Blackbeard, Frank Conniff as Pirate Frank, John Kennedy as Keel Hall Kevin. Visit John at www.puppetkit.com. Michael Rayner as the ship's purser. www.michaelrayner.com. And Mora Quirk as chips. www.moraquirk.com. Music for this episode by Jody Whitesides. www.jodywhitesides.com. This episode was written by Grant Bachoco. Leave us a voicemail at 818-332-3053. Episode number 602 of the Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd is copyright 2007 Dr. Floyd Industries. All rights reserved. Clear the airwaves! Clear the airwaves! It's now time for Dr. Floyd's Imagination Nation Ranger's secret message for you members of the Dr. Floyd Imagination Nation. Remember, kids, only official radio adventures of Dr. Floyd Imagination Nation Rangers can decode Dr. Floyd's secret message with the secret decoder ring available only from www.imaginationranger.com. All right, grab your secret decoder rings and a pencil and paper and prepare to set your imagination to fun. Remember, Dr. Floyd is counting on you. And here is the Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd Imagination Nation Ranger secret message for episode number 602, Set a Course for Adventure. 13, 23, 3, 20, 6, 13, 8, 3, 1, 4, 15, 12, 18, 1, 15, 14, 17, 3, 9, 8, 2, 3, 15, 8, 4, 2, 3, 1, 4. And that was a message from Dr. Floyd himself to all his Imagination Nation Rangers. You can join Dr. Floyd's Imagination Nation and become an Imagination Nation Ranger only at www.imaginationranger.com. And until next time, set your imagination to fun!
Hello, I'm John Bell of Bells in the Battery, along with my associates, Arnie Kunch... I can introduce myself. Thank you very much. All right. Hi, I'm Arnie Kunchbard. That's it? That's it. And also, do you want me to introduce you, Brad? Well, of course, Mr. Bell. That's your job as host. Thank you, Brad. And I'd like to introduce Brad... Hold it. What? Here's your script. Script? <laughs> well, you got to know what to say. All right. <clears throat> And introducing Brad Montworth, a salesman, incomparable public relations expert, and, of course, unrivaled attorney at law. No, come on, you know how to say it, Mr. Bell. Unrivaled attorney, attorney at, at, at law. law. Oh, Mr. Bell, you shouldn't say those things. You make me blush. Can I do my introduction over again? No. We're here for an important reason. Very important. Indeed. If you think you deserve significant financial compensation, call Brad Motworth, attorney, attorney at attorney law. law. Oh, boy. At 5554. No, 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 no. We're here to remind everybody to take steps to avoid the coronavirus. Yeah, don't catch it. Because there's no one you can sue. Wash your hands thoroughly and keep social distancing. What? Social distancing. One more time. Stay about six feet away from everybody else. Right, very good. Oh, I gotta wash my hands thoroughly. I don't wanna get me this corona. Ooh, keep your distance now. Socially. I wanna keep feeling fine, corona. Never gonna stop getting squirts from my Purell. I'm always gonna buy all the toilet paper. Bye Corona. Don't get no closer, huh? Beat it, huh? Far enough where I can't see your eyes, Corona. An illness history is not for me. Uh uh. Don't wanna try your COVID on for size, Corona. Never gonna touch. Stay away. My epidermis never wants to be close to where that nasty germ is. Bye 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 bye. Woo. Fly Corona. Fly Corona. Captain Fly Corona. What? P -p 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 Pumpkin Pie Corona. Now wait a minute. Fly <laughs> <laughs> Corona. Goodbye Corona. Good riddance.